John, good start tonight. Your line uh, started the game. You came out flying. Uh, must be good to get that monkey off your back early on. Yeah, I thought I had chances throughout the first ten games too, and I just you know I had to keep bearing down. And at one point, it'd go in, so yeah, I'm pretty relieved today that it went in. But uh, in terms of being negative or anything, there was no none of that. Just stay positive, and you know they'd come. You're always getting chances. Um, I think it's if players aren't getting chances, then they look at things differently. But you were getting chances over the last few games, and and uh, tonight you just went your way and and uh, a top in two inches after putting it through his five hole. You must be pleased. Yeah, I was. Yeah, like you said. Uh, if I hadn't gotten those chances through the first inning, then I would have been worried. But I wasn't. You gotta stay positive. Stuff like that happens, and you just gotta bear down, keep your head low, and keep working hard. Playing with Red and uh, Bobby Farm, a lot of experience out there, and uh, I mean, it seems to be a lot of fun for you guys too. Yeah, we're good at holding the pucks down low, changing sides. You know, like you said, those guys they're seasoned. So anything I can get on to the bench too from them, and you know, insight on how to play the game. They they know how to. They know how to play. They've been playing for a while, so it's fun usually, especially we're usually in their end too, so it's a good time. It's important to score the first goal at home. Uh, the Giants got that tonight. They then extended that lead to 2-0, uh, but the Flyers got one back coming in towards the end of the first period. Mm -hmm. What was the message from the head coach and the coaching staff after 20 minutes? Well, just trying to stay out of the box. I think we had four penalties in the first. Nobody wants to do that. And if you're getting that much opportunity, they're bound to get one. So I think it was stay out of the box and you know keep pressing it down there, keep pressing it down in their end, and it should be coming. Yeah. A dominant second period. Um, I think it's fair to say that the, the Giants dominated from from the 20 minute mark onwards, um, scoring three goals in the second period, and again just extending it. Everybody getting nice time. It seemed to be a happy bench. Yeah, whenever you're scoring, you know, there's no need to be down on yourself. But I think we were playing a good game. I think we were putting it down behind their D, changing sides, you know, getting pucks to the net, breaking out clean. When that happens, you're bound to put something in the back of the net. Great to see Stephen Murphy getting some ice time tonight. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as a backup goaltender in this league, he's got a lot of experience as a starter. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, coming into tonight's uh, performance, he played very, very well. And then the last six minutes, Andrew Dixon getting on the ice too. A good defensive uh, display tonight from the team. Yeah, especially when you get those two guys. You know, they're great team guys, so whenever you can get them a win, it's even better. Uh, Murph had a hell of a game. You know, He does it every day in practice, too. He, he just wonder this guy. But, and then Dicko, it's just great to get this guy into the game and get him a, you know, get some touches and make sure we didn't get, let anybody get a goal on him. Getting on the uh, win column again in the Challenge Cup was important tonight. Uh, tomorrow, you've got to make the uh, ferry transport back over to Fife to play against the same side tomorrow. What a sort of challenge are you expecting tomorrow night? Well, uh, I'm sure they're going to be coming out hard in their building after tonight, uh, so we got to be ready. You know, they're, they're not going to take it lightly. They're not going to sulk for too long, so we got to forget this one as well and be ready to go.